As I walked into the beautiful Arcadia School, it was as if I was transported in time, and I was a kid again. I met all the young children running around, and I enjoyed playing with them and connecting with them. This beautiful school was a lovely, idyllic setting for our chat. Naveel Vanrani loves education, and he's a great believer in learning and changing lives. He's bringing his well-honed business acumen to Arcadia School now. Naveen also oversees 10 companies, six joint ventures, and 5,000 employees as the CEO of Al Sharawi Engineering Services Group, and he's also a board member. Today, he will tell us all about Arcadia. We will look into learning how to learn. Naveen himself has a blue-blooded education pedigree. He's a graduate from the Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania, and an MBA from London Business School. Now he's living his dream and building a great legacy through learning and changing lives. I feel like a child. I am a child at heart, and today has given me an opportunity to just immerse myself in my, in my young days. And, uh, we're delighted to be here at the Arcadia Preparatory School and we are here with the CEO, Naveen Balrani. Naveen, welcome. It's a wonderful thing. It's Thank a real you. Privilege. Thank you, Tarek. Thank you for inviting us here. And I'm so happy to invite us because I'm, I'm almost lost. I, I, don't want, I, I want to go and play with the kids rather than be here with you. <laughs> so you've got to make it fun. You have serious competition now. <laughs> okay, um, leadership. Leadership for me is about serving uh, a, a, a greater population than oneself and that could be a, a small team, it could be a, a school, it could be a community, or it could be the broader world. Innovation. Innovation for me is all about creativity and creating a platform and a culture where individuals are allowed to express themselves. Disruptive innovation in your life. I think the greatest disruption that we will see during my lifetime will be in the education space and we are, we are already experiencing that. Education, where is it going? Education is going to the masses and I think illiteracy is very yesterday. Technology in education. Becoming critical but at the, same, but at the appropriate age. You are training a bunch of kids in this school for jobs that you don't know exist today. So you're training them for jobs that they don't know what the jobs actually are. How do you do that? It's all about nurturing lifelong learning and to ensure that you just have a love for learning. Lifelong learning, how do you define that in its essence? It's the ability and the willingness to wake up every morning and learn something new. Core values. If you identify a few core values, what would you respect most? Excellence, transparency, compassion, honesty, and discipline. How important is versatility to you as a core value? Versatility is important to me as a characteristic, as an outlook. But my values are very much determined by um, honesty, discipline, compassion, uh, and uh, versatility, while important, to, to, to particularly to survive in the world that we're going into, uh, for me, the, the core values are still uh, all about uh, compassion, honesty, and, and excellence. What makes you jump out of bed every morning? What excites you? Arcadia. I just love coming to this environment, uh, seeing children smile, seeing children learn every day, and truly making a direct impact uh, on, on their lives. How do you make a difference? I make a difference in, in, in being who I am, in just uh, following what I believe is, are my values and sticking to them. And through those values, providing an educational platform to these young children. What do you mad about? 
I'm mad about education. Uh, I am uh, mad about sport. Uh, and I am mad about compassion. When you close your eyes, what do you dream about? I dream about creating a world where there are no boundaries. What is your secret source of success? How did you manage to reach at this young age to where you are? I think in terms of a particular event, I think it was marrying young mm -hmm. and being a young father. Uh, I think that really is uh, one of the key reasons behind my success. Mm -hmm. And being fortunate enough to be born into a family um, that had a culture of learning mm -hmm. and also in a city as wonderful as Dubai. It was just, I've just been very, very fortunate. Anything that I may have missed that you'd like to share with us? Any comment, any remark, any observation? I'd like to, um, to end with just a, a thank you. Uh, a thank you to you. Uh, you know, this is my second time that, I, that I've had the good fortune of, of interacting with you on, in this type of uh, environment. I'd also like to uh, point out uh, Rabia Ataya, uh, the CEO of Bait. He is a very, very dear friend. Uh, someone I, who I've been with uh, for uh, 20 years now. And I've seen him transform and constantly reinvent himself. Uh, uh, and he's just such a source of inspiration. I, I, want, you know, I want to give a special thank you to him. Your final advice to the young people looking for jobs? Enjoy yourself and don't take life too seriously. Your advice to the employers who are looking for these young people, what should they be looking for? Look for that sparkle in the eye. Beyond that, because you can't see the sparkle in the eye on a CV. <laughs> what are the core things that they're looking for? Look for those that have truly struggled because the world moves forward by those that have been through struggle. So you're doing a wonderful job and you're building lives and changing the world. Naveen, thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. Really thank pleasure. you very, very much.